Today we'll start a new chapter, Rational Numbers, Chapter 1, 8th Class Maths. Exercise 1.1, Part 1. Name the property involved in the following examples. First bit, 8 by 5 plus 0 equal to 8 by 5 equal to 0 plus 8 by 5. This is in the form of a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a is equal to a. So, this is additive identity 0 property because if 0 is added to any number, the answer remains the same number. So, the 0 is called the additive identity of rational numbers. So, this is additive identity property. 2 into 3 by 5 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 2 into 3 by 5 plus 2 into 1 by 2. This is in the form of a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. So, this is the distributive law of multiplication over addition. So, we have a outside the brackets and b plus c within the brackets. This is equal to first we do a into b plus a into c. So, this is distributive law of multiplication over addition. 3, into 7, 3 by 7 into 1 equal to 3 by 7 equal to 1 into 3 by 7. This is also in the form of a into 1 equal to 1 into a equal to a. This is multiplicative identity 1. So, if 1 is multiplied with any number, the answer is same number. So, a into 1 equal to 1 into a equal to a. So, this is multiplicative identity property. Minus 2 by 5 into 1 equal to minus 2 by 5 equal to 1 into minus 2 by 5. So, this is also in the form of a into 1 is equal to 1 into a is equal to a. This is also multiplicative identity 1 property. 2 by 5 plus 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 3 plus 2 by 5. a plus b equal to b plus a. So, if two numbers are added, the order of addition does not matter. So, the answer remains the same. So, whether 2 by 5 is added to 1 by 3 or whether 1 by 3 is added to 2 by 5 does not matter. So, a plus b is also equal to b plus a. So, this is the commutative property of addition. 5 by 2 into 3 by 7 is equal to 15 by 14. Here, if A and B belong to Q, the product A into B also belongs to Q. This is the closure property of multiplication. So, if A, B belong to the set of rational numbers, then their product A into B also belongs to the rational number set. So, this is the closure property. 7A plus minus 7A equal to 0. That is a plus minus a is equal to 0. So, if, an M, if two numbers are added and we get their sum as 0, then they are called additive inverses of each other. So, minus a is the additive inverse of a and a is the additive inverse of minus a. Therefore, a plus minus a equal to 0. Similarly, here 7a plus minus 7a equal to 0. So, this is additive inverse property. x into 1 by x equal to 0. It is also in the form of a into 1 by a equal to 1. What is this? Two numbers are said to be multiplicative inverses of each other. The product is 1. Here a into 1 by a is 1. Therefore, this is multiplicative inverse property. 2 into x plus 2 into 6 equal to 2 into x plus 6. So, here we have 2 as common in both these. So, we take the 2 out into x plus 6. This is what is given here. So, it is also in the form of a into b plus a into c equal to a into b plus c. This is also distributive law. Write the additive and multiplicative inverses of the following. What is additive inverse? If we add a number and its additive inverse, we should get 0. What is the multiplicative inverse? If we multiply a number and its multiplicative inverse, we should get the answer as 1. So, first let us take minus 3 by 5. What is the additive inverse of minus 3 by 5? It is plus 3 by 5. Because minus 3 by 5 plus 3 by 5 is 0. Similarly, multiplicative inverse of minus 3 by 5 is minus 5 by 3. Because minus 3 by 5 
into minus 5 by 3 is equal to 1. Therefore, the multiplicative inverse is minus 5 by 3. Similarly, second bit 1. Additive inverse of 1 is minus 1 because 1 plus minus 1 is equal to 0. Multiplicative inverse of 1 is 1 because 1 into 1 is again 1. 0. Additive inverse of 0 is 0 itself. So, if we add 0 to 0, we get 0. So, the additive inverse of 0 is the number itself, like 0 itself. Multiplicative inverse of 0 does not exist because whatever number we multiply 0 with, we always get a 0 but not a 1. So, multiplicative inverse of 0 does not exist. 7 by 9. Additive inverse of 7 by 9 is minus 7 by 9 because 7 by 9 plus minus 7 by 9 equal to 0. Multiplicative inverse of 7 by 9 is 9 by 7 because 7 by 9 into 9 by 7 equal to 1. Minus 1. Additive inverse of minus 1 is plus 1 because minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Multiplicative of inverse of minus 1 is minus 1 because minus 1 into another minus 1 will be 1. So, the multiplicative inverse here is minus 1. If you like my video, like, share and subscribe.